What's up you guys? Oh my god, today is a day today. I've not vlogged kind of all morning, so it's about nearly half one now, but I'm about to head off on a walk very soon, so I'm going to take a hill thing for a walk. So yeah, I'm very excited for that, but right now I'm making myself a cup of coffee. I've also managed to edit as well, so just doing some editing really, and I have to go to the store to get a bottle of milk because I ran out of milk, so did that. Um, very productive. back now from that trip out. It was really good. Um, it was a cute day, cute walk, and we had some cute food as well, so just for exactly what the doctor ordered, because I feel like, like the last few days, like, I've been kind of just like, I don't know, a bit, a bit of a rut. I feel like I wake up each morning and just like keep repeating the same day, like, I feel like each day is going to be more sort of repetitive. I feel like all I've been doing is like the same thing every single day, and it's just been like miserable, so. Um, but today was quite good. At least I got to do something different, so pretty pleased actually, but all right, so I've been thinking about doing, doing like a few day. Um, I've heard like other YouTubers do this or like pe vloggers as well. I don't know. But yeah, I've heard like other people do like themes days where they do like Christmas theme days or 90s theme days or whatever theme days actually. And I kind of want to do one of my own. So I think the next few days I kind of want to do a Barbie day. I don't know. Um, because obviously the new Barbie movie is out, well we all know because Barbie's like literally everywhere right now but I've been kind of wanting to do like a Barbie theme day for quite a while now. Just like a Barbie party. So I'm gonna, I don't, I don't know though, I might actually think about it and try and like plan it out, but it would actually be really good if I did that, so yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm about to export my latest vlog. Um, I need to eat something else for because I had that cream cheese and salmon bagel, which was delicious by the way, but now I'm like, really hungry, so I want like, cereal or something, so. Alright, okay, so it's been a long time now since the last vlog, oh my god, but I feel like really busy, um, so I haven't really sort of like vlog the rest of the evening but it's about half ten now but I have been going through a bunch of things and I found an old storybook which I was going to write well I did write but I was going to release it but I ended up not releasing it and um, it's a really weird book as well which um, I don't remember actually writing until like, I actually look back on this like book which I wrote to a book um but it's this like here you can always like you can already tell it's gonna be weird but it says here Amanda has had some sharp criticism drawn to it as she makes pebbles go out in really tight clothing. Now, I have no idea what this like, book is like really about but I wrote it like years and years ago and it's kept in like an old folder since so uh, I'm gonna have a look at it. Alright okay, so okay this is like the description of the book so Pebbles Bemacy so this must be a family. In fact I, don't, I remember this being a family actually because I remember I've tried to write several books about families. Pebbles is known in the book as the girl whose mother Amanda makes her wear really tight clothing, particularly pants. Pebbles is also known to say stuff such as hooker and slut and gets into a lot of trouble with Amanda for saying those words. Oh my god. I was like really unhinged as well. Like I would never ever 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 like write like this stuff now. Um because looking back it's like really so interesting what I wrote. Pebbles is also known to join in with whatever Sky says to Amanda and the cheek Sky gives to Amanda, so I'm presuming that Pebbles is another sister. No, Pebbles is like the person I was talking about, but Sky, I don't know. Okay, so there's another person here, so this is like one of the person's sons, so I'm presuming if I remember rightly, Amanda was the mother, and Pebbles was the younger daughter, and Jake Bemacy is the son. Jake is a quiet boy in the book but is also known to pipe up occasionally. Jake is never mentioned in the book that often as Amanda is more obsessed with the way Sky and Pebbles look and their modelling. Wow, favouritism much. Although Amanda does still want Jake to be well presented and to model the stories. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. So, I remember once I was watching this like documentary about this like, mother who wants her daughter to be like beauty pageants and she was like 12, 13 at the time and I've always found that documentary quite interesting. I can't remember what the documentary is called but I basically then, because I was wanting to like, write a book because 
Um, obviously, you know, wanted to make a, make a book and obviously be famous and obviously be a best-selling book. But I remember seeing like documentary ones and I was obsessed with documentary because I just love like watching documentaries about like that kind of stuff. And I was like 13 or 14 at the time and I decided to make a book inspired by that, that documentary. So that's why you have this sort of book here. Oh, there's any more pages. There might be an extract of a page. I remember actually writing it. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. There's another description here. It says, within the book, there was moments where Amanda was criticised by public and even brought attention to social services, which resulted in social services trying to find the family whilst the family was walking down the motorway. Oh god. The family was also running and being chased by social services down the motorway at one point in the book. Amanda and her husband Brian tend to have raging arguments within the story, particularly in the car on their way to the haunted fairgrounds, where it resulted in Amanda and Brian both. There's no ending. Okay, so I think I kind of like worked the story on her. Now I remember now, so the story was, well, the plot line, whatever you call it, is um, the family, the beauty panjo obsessed family, go off to a haunted fairground for a modelling photo shoot and like for an advert um, for TV or something like that. And basically on the way there, there was like many twists or turns, you get chased down the motorway, you get just all kinds really. I think someone ends up like chasing them. It was like a very weird book. But there's like loads more here actually. I might actually do a video actually where I react to this because I'm sure what other books as much as try to like so I remember like years ago I used to like all I used to do is like try and write books because I've always wanted to be like a best selling author. I'm sure what loads of were like stories but that's one of them so yeah I might make a video actually where I try and like react to um, my old stories because there's a lot. Um, anyway so I'm gonna love you and leave you here Um, I'm gonna go to bed very soon maybe not I don't know um but yeah so i shall see you guys in another vlog and so yeah bye <laughs>